All right, this is Patrick Altmeyer here, and I'm going to tell you, show you how to install some network printers. I have a um, Hewlett Packard Office Jet Pro L7500, which is easy, straightforward install using the printing function, as I show here. I'm going to type in printing and select that. Now you got to do is hit Add Network Printer. And you have the Office Jet Pro. You're going to have to run this one through twice because you have a fax and a regular printer. See how you have the image and printing, then you have the, uh, the fax. So we're going to do the uh, regular one first. Go forward. And yes, the duplex printer is installed. <laughs> and I'm going to say office, home office. I'm going to print test page. I can hear it's working, so this one was successful. So we hit OK. Let's just hit job options to set everything up, or printing options. I'm going to have double-sided printing on all time on the long edge, color, automatic, print quality, normal. I'm going to, I like draft. No, I actually with the inkjet you need normal. Not best. Normal. Okay, and that's it. Now we're going to go on to the uh, Oki data. I'll hit apply. And now we'll add again. Actually what we're going to do first is the uh, We're going to do the um, fax. This is basically how any inkjet printer that has a fax built in will work. Hewlett Packer, um, Epson, any other one that's inkjet, this is how you would install it. The uh, laser jets are a little bit different. And it's going to be called HP fax. That's good enough. Hewlett Packard fax. Give it the same location because that's where it is. You don't have to. I mean, that's just. I want to hit cancel because I don't want to fax anything. So I'm going to hit cancel. And then what we want to do is close out. And we're going to test the scan to see if the scanner works. I do have a piece of paper in there. So. Simple scan is good enough. That's the default, and it works in 90% of the cases. Let's hit scan and see if it works. This is another reason why I like Ubuntu 12.04 over 12.10 because a scan function would not work in 12.10 without having to do a major long install. So this one works out a little bit better. Okay, as you see it's scanning. And you see the document's working just fine. Okay, so I'm going to close out of here because we know this part works. I'll just minimize it. And what we're going to do now, we're going to try to open, install a laser jet. But the hard part about lasers is they don't seem to want to work with the regular printing options. Some do, some don't. So we're going to use the localhost 631. So what you do is you open up your, uh, your Firefox web browser. Now if you do the normal install and have tried and it doesn't work, I want you to do what I'm doing right now. You want to add printer. But go to find new printers. Don't go to add printers. Okay, it says no printers found, which it did last time. As you see, it, they show up in both spots. So let's try add a printer. Type in your your username and your password that you use when you install the Ubuntu. And let's try the uh, find again. Because these two here haven't been working very well. So let's go to add printers again and try find. Okay, now I got a bunch of them. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to try these two. 
you got to log in first. That's why it didn't work the first time. Okay, see how this one says PDL data stream? That's the one you want to use if you get two of them. And the other one looks like this lab.printer.tcp local don't get the data stream. It's because it, uh, I guess it's I guess it has something to do with it being similar with the IP address. So home office. And you can call it this, I guess this is just some other name or whatever is built in, model number, probably has something to do with it, but good enough. So continue. You're going to select OK. And continue. And you're going to select just the C3300. See how it gives you a bunch of these? Don't. Just get that one. Just the generic. Hit Add Printer. And everything works. You got an available tray 1, 64 megabits of RAM. The duplexer is installed in the hard disk. So you go to General. Two sided printing. I want this to be on all the time. Tray letter quality normal. We'll see with the laser jet, you can get away with, with um, I guess I got fine, normal, and fast. So you want to go with fast because for some reason, laser jet prints better. I'm not saying it prints better itself, but it prints. It, better than an inkjet does when it's in the uh, you know saver mode fast and saver is the same and you can just pretty much leave everything else the same scroll to the bottom and hit set default options okay now you're good to go so let's try a print I'm gonna go to file I'm gonna go to print I'm gonna choose the Yoki Page setup, see how the long edge is on pages per side, and let me hit print. And I can hear the uh, printer turning on, and I'm going to do it again with the uh, laser jet, the Office Jet Pro, which is the default right now, but I'll switch that later. I'm going to hit print. That one's coming on too. Now let's try the fax. I don't have a fax uh, program here installed in Ubuntu yet, but let's see if they have a default one. I don't think it has a default one built in here. You need a fax program for that. But anyway, as you see, they work. This is Patrick Altmeyer, and that's the best way to install network printers.